friends, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've last shared a video. Life has been lifing. I'm becoming a lot more confident as a lawyer as the days go by and as I get used to the routine of it all. Every lawyer's day to day looks different. For me, I would say about 50% of my role involves doing legal research. When our clients have a legal question or issue, we provide answers through a legal opinion. This requires research to make sure that the information we are providing is accurate and up to date. I love doing legal research. I enjoy getting a question and then immersing myself in the case law. It feels like I'm finding the missing piece of a puzzle. There are times when I get a legal issue or a question and I don't know where to start. Oftentimes, the first thing I do is reach out to the Great Library. The Great Library is run by the Law Society of Ontario and is geared towards lawyer and paralegal licensees. The library also serves articling and LPP students, summer students, law clerks, law librarians, and others who are working for licensees. The Great Library provides a service called Ask a Law Librarian. What I do is I email the law librarians my legal question, and they often respond with a list of physical and online resources. This is helpful as a starting point or when you think you've that looked everywhere. Librarians can point you in the right direction and save you lots of research time. Keep in mind the Great Library is a reference library, meaning materials cannot be removed or taken out unless you need it for a short-term use at the courthouses nearby. That's why when I find a resource that may be helpful, I'll go into the library to locate it. It also makes for a nice walk and a break from the office. Once I have all the useful research in one place, I will sit down to draft a memo. My job is to summarize the cases that are applicable or similar to our client's case and to provide an opinion on how I think our client's issues would be legally treated. Oftentimes, I think back to law school and why they stressed the importance of reading cases and distilling the information down. One of our responsibilities as lawyers is to make the law more accessible to our clients, to go through vast amounts of information and legal jargon, and to provide an answer. I didn't get it at the time while in law school, but it makes sense now. Reading all those cases in law school was a struggle. It felt overwhelming and frustrating at times. But learning how to read and analyze is a useful skill even now, three years out of law school. I haven't been prioritizing creativity lately. When life gets busy, we tend to go on autopilot. It's hard to find the time or the energy to create or do things for fun sticking with a low effort routine to keep us going. For me, it's been working and hitting the gym. Rinse and repeat. I've been occupied lately, but amidst the busyness, there are these special moments that remind me that I have this whole beautiful creative side to me. If you didn't already know, I'm also a photographer. I do a lot of portrait work. Recently, one of my clients, Shaleen Wright, illustrated a book and it was published by Disney Books. Shaleen used the headshot I took of her in her illustrator bio, which appears alongside my name in the back of the book. It was a surreal experience to walk into the bookstore and to find this book and to see my name and work in print. This moment was a testament to my passion for creating and sharing with the world. When I started taking photos, I didn't think they were good enough to post online. But once I got over that fear and shared without holding back, the world opened up to me. So many opportunities and friendships have come from me being my authentic and creative self. I like to get back to creating and sharing, which means I'll have to figure out how to make more time for it. It truly is a balancing act. February was my birthday month and I used the most of it by going on two trips. One to Mexico for a friend's bachelorette and another trip to Iceland to celebrate my 30th birthday. I feel so grateful to be able to go on trips like this. Traveling has a way of grounding me and putting my life into perspective. I'll be sharing a full Iceland recap in the next one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. My mitt is wet too, I should have not done that. <laughs>